Hi everyone, it's Crypto Guy in South Africa. I'm just making a quick video on how to use BitTorrent and more specifically around the speed feature that was released about two weeks ago. So just to give you an idea, uh, it is in beta mode. So what you've got to do is you've got to go to BitTorrent.com and then slash speed. And then you'll bring up, be brought up to this website. Then you can scroll down. You'll get some features of it. You know, it'll talk about, you know, the dashboard, the wallet. But to really get to it, you have to then click here download and then it will download a uTorrent um, then you just got to download this install this and then start torrenting so let's just wait for this to start downloading all right now it's finished downloading now we can click it and open the XE okay so yes to install it we'll open the installation it's pretty straightforward. Go next, next. Um, say you agree. Didn't use the last agreement. Then say create start menu, create quick launch icon, create desktop icon. That's fine. Okay, then it wants to just add exception for the uTorrent in your firewalls and then start uTorrent when Windows starts up. So this is pretty good if you want it to always start up as soon as your machine starts up, if you want to continuously download. Let me say finish. Okay, then it's opened up. Then once you once it's opened up, you can then start seeing it. You can see over here it is in beta mode, and then you can see over here it's doing the BitTorrent speed just the first time it's syncing up, or it's doing something just activating itself. Um, let us let that run. You'll see because it's a free version, you'll get a whole bunch of ads popping up here and here. They might not be the best of ads at times, but hey, it's for free. Okay, and there we go. Now my BitTorrent speed is ready. I can click on it. It'll then open this. And then, so it opens like an extra menu. It doesn't open inside the client. And then over here, you can just set up everything that you need to do. So we say next, next next okay and then you've got a dashboard you automatically get a wallet with 10 btt and then you can say your download speed with btt so now if i leave the speed increase on then what's going to happen is it's going to use my btt and reward others but if i just want to accumulate then i'm going to switch this off and then get files that people want from me um, and would desire from me and then you would um, just be collecting I leave that on any files that I give they will like but now the important part is a wallet like anything when you create a wallet you know you've got to set it up or make sure to back it up so you can go continue you've got to give it a password so I'm just going to give it a quick password here let's make sure it's long enough not really getting this wrong Oh, it doesn't match. Don't it wrong. There we go. Now it's matched. Then we continue, and then you can see you've got your wallet, and then you can deposit, withdraw, normal wallet features. Um, you can copy your public wallet address. You can also show you my private key now in you should always say show my private key and then take the private key and then back it up so i'm just going to say show my private key and then it shows me my private key over there and then i can copy it go save it somewhere now i'm not too concerned if anyone sees this because i'm not really going to use this specific wallet a lot okay and then that's how you see your speed and your BitTorrent but now it's not enough because for you to really earn BitTorrent speed you've got to go get torrent files that other people will want so just bear in mind what is BitTorrent speed so normal BitTorrent you would have a whole bunch of files that you would download save on your machine and then you would seed those files but you were never forced to keep seeding you know there's even settings to say um, if you go yeah options preferences um, yeah, there's even settings you have to say directories, you know, put your new downloads near, move completed downloads here. And then once you moved your completed downloads here, it wasn't, you know, available for seeding. So 
if you didn't move them, then it is available for seeding. And then, you know, other people can get copies of the files from you. Um, they would effectively download from you. But now just to motivate people, we've got now the actual BitTorrent speed where you'll be um, centivized in the actual BitTorrent token. You can collect more and more BitTorrent token. The BitTorrent token you can exchange on any exchange if you want to get it back into cash or if you just want to hold it for a long time. So it's an actual token, TRC10 token that runs on the Tron network. Um, but now for you to earn BitTorrent speed, you need to download BitTorrent files that other people want to use. Now I'm not going to focus, I'm just going to show you, you know, what is a BitTorrent file and how you would download something. So I'm just going to go to ubuntu.com and just show you that a lot of uh, places are starting to use BitTorrent files, but you can also go look for any BitTorrent files. So let's let's look at this option, BitTorrent. Um, I'm gonna say Ubuntu server. Okay, then I can say, uh, see our alternative downloads. And if I scroll down, you can see there's an option for um, BitTorrent. So we can do that, downloads. We say open the file and then you can see over here it wants to open it okay and then it'll start downloading once it's downloaded it will start seeding it so that's basically how BitTorrent works but we'll see now you can obviously add all other types of files in here doesn't have to be there so what you can do is you can just google BitTorrent files and this will come up and it'll tell you what the top torrent sites are now bear in mind i've just downloaded something like ubuntu which is legal you can download any files or share files that are that you want to but obviously now there's obviously websites that will give you torrent files for stuff that are probably not legal or you know they've got copyrights on it but you can still download them and use it i'm not promoting it i'm just telling you what is available and what can be done so the most popular website is the Pirate Bay, um, and then there's a few others, you know, uh, depending on where you want to go for RBG, again, another one, and a few more. But just go have a look and then see what you can download. And then, obviously, the more popular the files are, uh, the more chance that you will um, use BitTorrent Speed, which means you'll earn BitTorrent tokens for your downloads. Great, that's it.